Hey everybody, this is DLL Cool J coming at you from Arch Cloud Labs. If you're watching this and it helps you out, consider sponsoring me by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash archcloudlabs. It'll keep me going and let me make more content. All right, let's get started. Hey everybody, DLL Cool J from Arch Cloud Labs here. And today we're gonna to take a look at extending the Empire framework by building uh, a simple module that'll just probably echo something to uh, a file, but it'll basically give you an idea of how you can go and build your own modules to do something more complex. Let's get started. So I've already taken the liberty of cloning Empire, and right now I'm in the following directory of the Empire repo. So within servers, modules, Python, collection, and under Linux, I can go ahead and see the existing modules that exist for collecting data off of a target host. So let's go ahead and open up one of these YAML files and kind of see what the structure looks like for creating our own modules. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Sniffer. And at the top here, you're gonna see the layout that you would normally see kind of displayed in a uh, table-like fashion if you're leveraging the Empire client. So you see the name, the author, a little description, uh, whether or not it needs to run as admin, is it OPSEC safe, the underlying language and uh, minimum requirements for that. And then also the options that you set in the Empire command, uh, Empire client in order to uh, have it get executed successfully. So in the sniffer option here, we have some IP filters, port filters, etc. And then as we scroll down after the options section, we have just the uh, script uh, for Python, to, the Python script to get executed. Now in this format, you see that it is just kind of inline Python, go forth and execute this. This uh, can create some issues with debugging uh, later on. In my, in my experience, if you, you know, have accidentally tabbed something uh, and it's not YAML uh, you know, formatted correctly anymore. So uh, what I like to use is the script underscore uh, full path. And that way we can treat the Python script as a separate uh, file entirely. And it just makes things a little bit easier to execute. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch gears real quick and show you what that looks like with uh, an existing module with uh, the Mimi, Mimi Penguin module. So again, uh, just like we said before, we have kind of the options set up here at the top, but here this time you see script path and you see the path to the underlying Python script that's going to get executed. Uh, so in this case, it's a Mimi Penguin to go and try to grab some credentials from Linux hosts. And we can see at the top here, we have some MITRE attack mappings. Uh, that's fantastic. But for our example, uh, I'm just calling it test uh, pwn. So it's nothing super fancy by any means. It is just an example of, hey, how do we get this module, or how do we start creating modules to play around with, with Empire? Uh, so here you see I have my script path set to uh, collection pwn.py. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop on over to my other tmux terminal. And uh, you know, it's nothing fancy uh, by any means. It literally is just a uh, os.system cat etsy password to pwn.txt. And this is just to kind of show you, hey, how do I even get started building modules? So that way you can focus on uh, building something neat and uh, get you know the generic syntax out of the way. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the server now, get the agent uh, up and running, and then uh, actually execute this and then see if it worked. Okay, so I have spun up Empire Server. I've got my client connected. I've deployed an agent. It's all on the Kali host just for testing. And now we're gonna go ahead and leverage the uh, pwn test module as just kind of uh, uh, round this out of, of how to you know go from creating a simple module to uh, testing it. So we're gonna go ahead and do use module. And if we remember, I went ahead and put that in the collections piece, so or the collections folder, so you can see that test pwn right there. So we do pwn python collection test pwn. And then uh, earlier where I was saying, hey, uh, the options piece kind of gets broken out to a table. This is what I was referring to. So for my module, I have no options that are getting passed in. I'm just you know running a couple uh, silly os.system commands to cat etsy password to a file in uh, temp. Uh, and just gives you a little breakdown of this. So let's go ahead and I've already set my agents, but to do that again, you just do set agents, you see the uh, options get set. And now let's go ahead and hit execute. And then when that, as that gets executed based on the jitter and the sleep, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's interact with that agent. I want a shell and I want a cat temp.pwn.txt because that is the output file that my module writes to. 
So we'll go ahead and do that and then give it a second. And sure enough, boom, there's Etsy password for my test host here. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this module, keep it uh, as short as possible. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment below on what you like, what you didn't, and what you'd like to see more of. Thanks for watching, bye.